morning. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Podcast. It's Friday, which means we're going to have our shift head of the week. But first, let me get to this Caitlin Clark flagrant fouls in the WNBA. It's sort of amazing to me. The NBA owns half of the Women's National Basketball Association. Plus, they contribute $15 million a year. So if you're a WNBA player, you're making nowhere near what the pros make in the NBA. Why? Number one, nobody watches you. They either don't buy a ticket or don't watch it on TV. But now they are because Caitlin Clark, a sensation from the University of Iowa, has joined them. And they're selling out stadiums where she is playing. But... The other WNBA players don't like the notoriety, and they've stated so. The main reason why? She's white. They're hard following her now. Why? She's white. They're giving too much credit to her. Why? She's white. These idiots don't realize that she's putting money in their pocket. It's amazing to me. If the roles were reversed, you know that what they would call that? Racism. But, as we all know, there are no black racists. Our shift head of the week, as always, can be a numerous amount of people. Could be Hillary Clinton, who during the D-Day celebrations and remembrances, the reverence that was portrayed on that solemn day, likened Donald Trump to Hitler, and unlike the GIs on D-Day, all we have to do is vote. She insulted them. She looks like she bathed in vinegar. She is not a very liked person. She doesn't understand that. She still thinks the election was stolen from her. She's just not a nice person. I think both her and uh, Nancy Pelosi bathe in vinegar. But today, our shift head of the week could easily go to Joe Biden. But this poor guy has no clue where he's at anymore. He is not mentally acute. He's not up to the job. Thank you, New York Times. Thank you, Chicago Tribune. Thank you, LA Times. Thank you, press, for protecting him the last election. Now you got it. What are you going to do this time? He's incompetent but he's vindictive. He's out for revenge on anybody who crosses him. His son is up for trial. As opposed to the Donald Trump hoax, the kangaroo court, there's pictures of Joe Biden all over the halls of the courtroom. His wife is there. His daughters are there. What do you think the prosecutor is thinking if he really goes after Hunter Biden and nails him? He's out of a job. Hunter Biden is going to skate. But our shift head of the week is Richard Comey, the former head of the FBI. He had a warning to Donald Trump saying he better be nice to the judge because the judge is going to take all that into consideration by handing him all those gag orders and by Trump spouting out on the gag orders. It's not good news for him when he sentences them. Well, Mr. Comey, how about this? How about your sham with the Steele dossier that wound up having Donald Trump before Congress in trial before Robert Mueller, who found there was absolutely nothing there. But you helped perpetrate it. How about Clapper, FBI, Striz, FBI, all these clowns you had who were dead set against Donald Trump and trying to annihilate him. You oversaw that. Of course, you never saw anything. The sham that you portray is illegal. You should be in jail. What do you think of the judge in the Trump trial? Did he act properly? Did he give good instructions? Gag orders? Was that constitutional? James Comey. He's a tall guy, a tall drinker of water, 
the tallest shift head of the week we've ever had. Congratulations, Mr. Comey. I hope Trump gets in, and I hope you start wetting your pants thinking about what's going to happen. He's more concerned about America, which is more than I could say about you. He wants success in his country, which is more I can say about you. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel, YouTube, LinkedIn, the Howdy Boomy show. Truth, justice, the American way. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.